in this uh, session we are going to talk about the tableau paradigm see we all know tableau provides a good number of mechanisms where i can virtually connect to any data right how is it able to do that it is having some kind of a unique paradigm so that unique paradigm it really helps it to leverage the power and uh, efficiency right the paradigm which tableau is using it helps it to leverage the power and efficiency of existing different database engines whether it is excel access uh, or probably sql server or sas or spss or any kind of data it can really connect because the paradigm which it is following we'll talk about that paradigm the paradigm that uh, tableau follows it gives it the power and efficiency to connect to almost any kind of database engine and uh, it is also having the kind of an option where the data can be extracted locally that concept had made tableau a very powerful tool now just to understand what this paradigm is all about see the different data engines the native data engines that are there tableau directly connects to them and the way it is able to do that that unique paradigm is coming up because of a programming language called visql which is nothing but visual query language just like a sql structured query language today we are talking about visql visual query language so the the good thing about this particular visql was it's a very high end stanford research project it looks at the natural ways right it was developed uh, purely from this particular perspective looks at the natural ways the human beings are perceiving the entire world and that perception of the human beings how it can be applied to the data visualization so they have focused a lot on size size is a differentiator shape is a differentiator the geographic location is a differentiator color is a differentiator so what the visql was developed on is looking at all these various aspects which human beings are able to differentiate different aspects uh, different uh, uh, different uh, uh, naturalities in the data so using these things they tried creating a visual environment into the queries so that is what the outcome is the visql which means i really don't need to read right it's, it's it's not a reading it's not a writing coding whatever there is no debugging nothing as a part of visql and that is what makes tableau more and more unique more and more specific to users who cannot do the programming also so the tableau directly it itself will generate the visql we don't need to start writing any kind of visql programs or something that makes things easier even from even for a person from the non programming background so one of the prime benefits that visql is giving is primarily it is defining or it is describing the different fields how i should arrange them how the arrangement of the different fields defines the query so based on the way we are giving the field the query gets constructed i don't need to really construct this query i just need to give the fields in a visual manner and based on that the query gets constructed so 
I don't need to learn SQL, I don't need to learn MDX or any kind of query languages. So, whatever the visual thing we are giving, it is automatically translated into a VSQL and this VSQL will in turn interact with that particular concerned database using the language that particular database understand. So, that is what is the benefit the Tableau is bringing. So, typically when we have seen, we are dragging and dropping a field, right? Almost all the times we have seen, we have dragged and dropped the field onto the shelf, right? Let me uh, just showcase. So, let's say we have dragged and dropped something, right here, I have dragged one field onto the shelf, like this. So, when I have dragged it, that action, there is a BizQL query that is generated for that action. And that BizQL query is, depending on the data source, it is connected into, it is converted into a query which that data source understands. And because it is converted into a query corresponding to that data source, so the same drag will be converted into an Excel understandable language. When the data source is Excel, it will be converted into an uh, SPSS understandable language if my data source is SPSS and so on. So, that language will be passed to that particular source engine. And the, and the results are obtained from that particular database. And once the results are obtained, now the same logic, we, we, we show, uh, the Tableau again renders that view based on the result set. So, different uh, data sources will return different result sets. Now, again, that VSQL will help it convert the results from the source-specific display to a generalized display and presents it for us in a graphical kind of a format. That is the kind of an advantage that Tableau offers to us, right? So, when you have dragged, dropped different kinds of fields, so probably if I have to quickly run through the whole process, right? Let me uh, create a new sheet. Let's say I have dragged the market into the columns, right? And I have dragged the sales onto the rows. Just showing the case. Now the market, first of all, is the dimension. So it is display, it is a discrete value. So it's shown in blue color. So automatically the language what it says is it has to show the headings for the columns. And uh, so because it's a uh, because it's a dimension, it is going to slice the measure. And sales. Because it's a continuous, which is shown in a green color. So, there is some kind of an aggregation that it has to do. So, by default, the summing is the aggregation that it is performing. And because uh, it's a continuous data, uh, the axis should be shown instead of the unique values. So, now, this is the basic. So, the BizQuery, BizQuery language has handled this part. Now, let's say this data I have to get from, this is the data source for it, let's say is SQL Server. Now, when we have dragged this entire thing, there is a VSQL code that got created and that VSQL code in turn will be converted into the script which SQL Server understands. And that particular script which SQL Server understands will be sent to the SQL Server and uh, uh, so that, that, that SQL language gets written from your VSQL language and uh, so because the SQL Server understands that language, it uh, connects to the database, retrieves the data from that database and sends it uh, back to Tableau. The same logic Right, whatever are the hundred thousands millions of rows that are extracted by SQL Server, that entire thing again is pre uh, reprocessed to a language which is VSQL. So the SQL output is 
translated into a visql output and the same is presented to us here right so that's a typical uh, way uh, tableau really utilizes the benefit of all the database engines and tries to project as the final result right so that is that is the typical uh, uh, paradigm which tableau has in terms of bringing us the data presentation from almost any kind of data source all right so we need to understand this because uh, that is what makes it clear where tableau is different from the other visualization databases or visualization mechanism thanks a lot for listening to this uh, session thank you very much